So um, someone asked me, they'd been inspired by Hawkins and Eckhart Tolle and Eckhart Tolle saying, you know, just something like love the moment and Hawkins talking about embracing stuff. One of the, the laws of consciousness is uh, you experience what you resist. So when you don't want something, you experience it more. So like if I, if, if like this can happen with time, for example. So let's say you have to be on a, on a, on an airplane for three hours and you don't, and you feel like, and you feel this experience of time dragging, like you want to get to the other destination. That's because you're resisting time and what you resist you experience. So it's like every second ticks along. Same thing can be applied with the present moment. You know, if you love the moment, i.e. not the objects in the moment or what's happening in the moment, but if you love the moment, then there would be no resistance to the now, uh, whatever it is, it doesn't really matter what, what is in the now. It could be the body's dying or someone's putting a spear through uh, your heart or, um, or a volcano's erupting. If you just love the moment, it's relevant to what's happening in the moment then um, you'll be in a state of bliss in every moment because there's no ego there. What the ego resists, you know, all the programs that activate, like I don't want the volcano to erupt, I don't want this person to be hitting me on the head with a club. What do you resist? And if there's belief systems tied with that, you experience. So your, your volcano is erupting and you, and you didn't want it to erupt, your ego didn't want it, then there'd be an experience of fear and, and thoughts stemming out of fear or resistance. So it would be an experience in consciousness, a dualistic experience of the ego not liking it or wanting it. Now, anything that has been disappeared, you don't resist, you don't experience. So if it's like Monday mornings, you hate Monday mornings and work. Um, if you delete all the software in the ego about um, not liking Monday mornings, not liking work, uh, and uh, becomes irrelevant then, uh, and everything else becomes irrelevant, then whether it's work or not work, whether it's you're on the beach or at work, it's irrelevant, you see, you're not resisting. Um, and since there's no resistance, the ego has no resistance to work or Monday mornings, then it's not experienced. And so it would be a non-event. Um, there is another attitude. So at the level of transcendence, it doesn't really matter what happens because you're in the now all the time all the ego software that could operate, all the belief systems that could get triggered by, oh, it's sunny or it's rainy or it's work or it's the beach or whatever it is, they don't exist. So there's just an embracement of the now and there's no belief systems that resist the now in any situation. Um, another attitude which is less advanced but also equally a valuable uh, attitude is to love every moment as it is, whatever it is. So then that would lead to quite a profound state of uh, acceptance and non-resistance of every moment. And that would also create a good spiritual vibration. Um, Hawkins' method of letting go is, you know, if you are experiencing something or in resistance or troubled by something, just don't make a story, let everything be. And that's a form of non-resistance. And then it will pass quite effortlessly if you're able to do that. Okay, so I'm going to stop.